Welcome to this horror special of TRS Clips. Make sure you subscribe because the scares have just begun. Do you want to talk about the first case of the paranormal where you realized that, okay, hold on, this is actually paranormal. This is not a hoax. What was that feeling like? And tell me about the case a little bit. Uh, the first case um, was of exorcism. Okay. It was a demonic possession of uh, a dear friend. And uh, that was handled by my brother, my eldest brother. And it was much more of a, a religious exorcism. So when I witnessed that, that was exactly when I got to know, okay, fine, things can really happen like this. Because uh, it was a frail young man, maybe young, yeah, he was younger than me as well, who could lift up a sofa with his single hand. And he was uh, puking all over the place and, you know, mouthing out very, a, lo a lot of filthy language and all, which he wasn't actually before that. And uh, he actually manifested in a, in a very demonic way. And it was handled by my brother very well. And he got exorcised at that point of time. But that's exactly when I got to know, okay, fine, you know what, there is something like this also. How old were you? Uh, this was in, uh, I guess, 2006 or 2007. Okay. So that was like, uh, yeah, 15 years ago. Okay. Uh, and... Um your brother was also an exorcist? He is still. He is still an yeah, exorcist. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Would he be open to giving us a podcast? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he will be. Mm. But then afterwards, he will be uh, more on the religious side. That's fine. That's great. Uh, yeah, he will be more on that religious side. Okay. Um, man, explain the word exorcist. Um, anybody who can help a, a, a demonic possession. What is a demonic possession? As I call it, a demon, a demon is any other sickness that is unwanted in our body, right? So we have a lot of sicknesses in our body, in our soul and in our spirit, right? If we have a cold flu, we go to the doctor, we exercise the demon of flu. Mm. But for that, we don't need to do all the drama that they're shown in the movies and everything like that, right? We just go take a paracetamol probably and cure the headache there and there, right? So that is an exorcism as well. But we never see exorcism like that. So even diseases on a mental level, on a, on, a, on a spiritual level, are also diseases. We choose to call them demons. Why? Because the elderly, the, the older, the ancient people used to call them demons. Even leprosy, the demon of leprosy that they used to call, the, the uh, demon of uh, convulsions and fits that they used to call. Right? These are all demons, these are all diseases. Unwanted, but yes, they afflict us. So exorcism is just going one step beyond, um, say, about mental health uh, uh, therapists like the psychiatrist or the, or the psychologist. Exorcism just goes parallel to that, just just one step beyond that. Okay. Um, this particular case where your brother was involved, uh, you said that your friend was possessed by a demonic entity. This happened in Mumbai? Yeah, it happened in Mumbai. Uh, so there are demons that exist in Mumbai. Oh, everywhere. everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Okay. But specifically about this case, what was the demon? Let's take it step by step. Basically, there's Satan, who is, say, the leader of the demons. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. And then there's demons under him. Even it, Satan is a demon. Okay. Is he like the leader? Is he the number yeah, one? Yeah, he is. He is. He and was the one who led the downfall as, you know. Equivalent of the devil. Or yeah. e same as the devil. He is the devil. He is the devil. Okay. Then he has people under him, like demons under him. So when you say this person was possessed by a demon, was it one of the demons under Satan? Or was it an even lower deity? Like an even lower demon? It was a demon. You, it was okay. just a demon. I mean, uh, let's not uh, put a hierarchy to demons. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There are demons in everything. Yeah, you call them lower demons or uh, higher demons, right? I believe demons are programmed. Same as the angels. There are angels who will come as messengers and they will just be messengers. They will not do anything else. There are, there are angels who will come and help you and that's it, right? They will come and heal you and that's it. So same way a demon of uh, uh, maybe a pancreatic cancer cannot cause diplopia or a demon of deafness cannot cause, uh, um, say about cripple or, or paralysis. He will not. So in the same way, a demon that is, uh, that is performing one function, even in the brain, will not do something else. Even in medical science, the first step for any therapy is to diagnose. Once you diagnose a disease through whatever medical reports and the lab reports that you get, you know exactly where to pinpoint your medication towards. So in the same way in exorcism, if you've watched those movies and all those things, it's, it's always about identifying the demon. Once you identify the demon, then it's very easy to exorcise. 
so every demon has its own weakness basically of course and you got to target the weakness of course for example what anything anything i mean for for example if a person is acting crazy at that point of time it's the person is depressive as well as manic so you know that person might be mildly sch- schizophrenic you target that okay right you treat that in a in a particular way that is that is suitable for that okay exorcism okay uh, these are more intricate spiritual procedures i'm assuming yeah yeah like a particular kind of prayer or a particular kind of ritual to beat the demon yeah that's how an exorcism so when you happens. so when you say prayer and ritual it is not very uh religious again not very orthodox right horses for courses so a different person is a different person every person is different so every mental illness is different you cannot treat one depressed person like the other one right okay. so in the same way you cannot uh exorcise the demon out of a demonic uh, uh possession or possessed person like you treat the other one every person is different so you don't go on the field over there right directly in front of them and say you know what i've done it 10 different times so this is exactly what i'm going to do now you need to first find the history you need to know exactly what are the symptoms what is going to happen and all and then afterwards you perform the exorcism it can be in a very calm and relaxed manner it, it need not be all the who and hoopla and the drama okay um were you afraid when you were witnessing this not at all fear is not um, uh, an option at all because the demon feeds off of fear yeah 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 of all, every emotion for that matter every negative emotion like what anger anxiety anger depression sadness uh, fear lust greed gluttony all so if the demon spots one of these emotions in you it starts targeting you exactly so say it spots greed in you it will say something about money if it spots uh lust in you it will say something sexual yeah am i right yeah true okay and you're just not supposed to give in and exactly and get it exorcised as soon as possible okay so uh, are you comfortable talking about how your brother exorcised this particular demon using the bible okay yeah and using scriptures from the bible a particular verse any verse for that matter any any verse that really matters at that point of time whatever whatever it takes to actually minister to the spirit of that person and the demon to exorcise a demon yeah he will use all that okay and how long is the process as long as it takes as long as it takes so how long can it go it can go to a few hours as well few hours as well yeah why yeah, yeah. because sometimes a person is not willing to just give up the demon and yeah and sometimes as it happens in most uh, orthodox uh, exorcisms like of every religion for that matter the first step is to diagnose exactly what demon is there once you identify the demon only then can you actually work upon it right so you're just uh, shooting in the dark whereas my brand of exorcisms are very different it comes from actually reading that person knowing exactly when to approach it so you can only you can uh, you can neither pour uh, from an empty cup nor from a turbulent cup and you need to pour you can only pour in an empty cup or in a calm cup So the moment the person is getting in a manic phase you don't exercise that person at all you just take it easy wait till he just calms down completely no matter how it takes you restrain him physically or mentally or just calm him down and then afterwards you help him find the answers you're talking about the demon here right both the person who is actually afflicted okay. and the demon is the person who's afflicted is that person aware that they are get they're being possessed at that point of time no but once they get into the calm se- self the manic phase is gone that time he will realize what i was doing was really bad i mean i shouldn't have done that and then he will like probably feign ignorance and say you know i don't know wh- why i was doing this why did this particular person get possessed and why not someone else because he was vulnerable at that point of time as you said fear the demons uh, what a feed of fear so it works like this you know on an atomic level uh, if you go to see the electrons that are there in an atom right will only latch on to another atom if at all there is a surplus of electrons or a a deficit of electrons in the outer shell only then it gets attached knowing about the positive and the negative charge and everything in that right so in the same way we have our aura if there is a gap in our aura only then we are available for attachment to some someone some other entity right or if we have surplus energy then afterwards we will go and give it to someone else right if that if that energy is negative then you are prone to making somebody else negative or probably you get possessed yourself or attached yourself okay so in the same way even a demon also just waiting to latch you show your vulnerability and they will atta- uh, they will latch on to you where can you find the demons everywhere 
everywhere you go to you go to a contaminated place you will get a you will get a disease bacteria viruses right so in the same way you go to a haunted location you go to any place for that matter and you just display your fear of a certain thing and the universe will make sure okay fine you get back to the straight path okay if you enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe to this channel and make sure you watch more horror clips on TRS clips